What's up everybody, my name is Suhiu with Angelus Brand and today we're going to show you how to make your kicks glow. What's up guys, we're back today and uh, today's tutorial we're going to show you guys how to make a pair of uh, custom sneakers here at Glow. Uh, we're going to be using this Angelus Glow in the Dark. It's a fantastic product. I've been waiting for uh, quite some time actually for Angelus to put this product out. It's a translucent style paint and today I'll give you guys some, hopefully some great tips to show you guys how to make your shoes glow with this product right here. Angelus has perfected uh, a glow in the dark that is flexible. It shines extremely bright compared to all the other brands that I've used. It covers very well. It's very consistent with, with its coats when you use it with an airbrush. You can even paint it on with a paintbrush or sponge as well. I would love to make this whole shoe glow in the dark. Unfortunately, uh, it won't glow in the dark so great when it comes to a black base. So if you were to shoot this glow in the dark paint here and uh, try to hit it with the, just the black portions, the glow in the dark, it will glow. Uh, it doesn't glow as strong as it would glow on a light base. Anything with a light base is your ideal candidate for uh, your glow in the dark product. So make sure that uh, you know that and so you're not disappointed with the results if you're shooting it on a, a dark navy blue, a black, a gunmetal. Uh, unfortunately, the results won't look as nice and as crisp. So what I do recommend is if you have a shoe and you're customizing a shoe like this and you have different segment panels, that contrast, the glow will pop a lot nicer if you have a light base right next to a darker base. On this custom today, we, we've used this uh, gift box blue. We've used this matte black or flat black here as well by Angelus. And before I even started painting, uh, we prepped it here with the leather preparer and deglazer. Okay, you'll take cotton balls. You'll literally just take a little bit of this You'll put it inside of a little cup, and all you have to do is dip this cotton ball in, and you start taking off the clear coat surface of this shoe. Every uh, Jordan comes with some kind of a factory seal. Uh, you need to take that factory paint off of there. Uh, it's just a real, uh, it's a clear coat, so you can't even see it, except for when you use a cotton ball, uh, you dip it in the leather preparer and deglazer, and you start to see the residue come off on the cotton ball. So make sure when you're doing that, uh, you're using a lot of cotton balls to, to continuously uh, make sure you're not just moving around the clear coat. So we, that's, a, that's a basic step before you even start painting anything, okay? Uh, we've gotten the bottom taped up now at this point. We've used the preparer and deglazer, and we've already cleaned off the entire surface of this shoe. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load this with our gift box blue. Okay. I'm also going to thin it out here with too thin. So I'm going to put just a little bit of too thin, nothing too crazy. I generally eyeball it. I've seen some people actually sit down and measure it out in little cups and all that. But you know what? As long as it's flowing out at a smooth pace, okay? One thing I'm gonna add on the last coat, this is also by Angelus, it's called Duller. It actually does dull the, the paint out so it'll give it more of a factory finish. You don't need to drop a lot of this. A, a little bit of this goes a long way. So when I drop this in, you guys can see I'll, I'll drop a very small amount in there. That's all you need to add. That's it, okay? Don't put too much in because if you put too much Duller in to your paint, it can actually affect the properties of adhesion. In this cup, I've got about a quarter of paint, and you saw how much I dropped in there, just literally a dab or two of that, and that will finalize the gift box blue color. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get some glow on this guy. Today, I have a .35 uh, millimeter airbrush 
the recommended is at least 0.5. What I will try to do is I'll shake it up like I usually do with all my other paints and I'll drop a little bit in. If for some reason I don't see it spraying from my airbrush, then I know that I need to thin this paint out. But let's see. Now it's flowing pretty, pretty smooth. So I, I might actually be able to shoot this without it even putting any tooth in in there. All right. Sealed it nice and tight. Box it up, put it away if you don't need it. When you're not using this um, glow in the dark, I highly recommend you leave it in the box and we put it in room temperature. You don't want it to be in an environment that's too hot uh, because it tends to kind of dry out on the bottoms. Also, I say to leave it in the box because you want to keep the, the glow in the dark properties uh, to its maximum potential. And the best way to do that is to leave it in the dark so that way, way it's not charging and then you know dying out in, in, in power and then charging again continuously. You want to only use it when it needs to be used. So I caution you guys to leave it in the box for sure. All right, let's start to shoot some glow. Important things to know about glow. When you start to shoot glow, you have no idea where it's going. Uh, there is all kinds of particles that flow everywhere, so it's important for you to know that even if you can't see the glow particles, uh, you know that the glow particles are spreading around the whole shoe. And that's another reason why I wait at the end to paint my black parts black because on this portion here you'll still see remnants of glow pigment uh, it's just an overspray but when you hit it with the black on top that will disappear all right so let's get started i'm going to test this out make sure that it's spreading okay and from my air gun i could see that it is spreading so i'm going to continue to go with it you know, it's a little bit easier to paint this actually in a, in a darker environment. And if you paint it in a darker environment, you know, hit the lights on every, you know, a couple of minutes just to see where you're, you're at. It lays out a map for you. If you hit the shoe with the black light, then you can find the particular spots that are still blotchy. And then you're able to actually remedy those spots by just shooting the glow out on it.